Hi everyone, welcome back to the CCF channel. Firstly, apologies, I know it has been an awful long time since my last video. If we have a look, it's been over four months. <clears throat> and I can only apologise for that. I have been dealing with several bereavements in the family uh, as of the beginning of this year. Um, and uh, obviously not been in the right frame of mind. But also I did say that um, Store J, I was going to look around the six month period and give an update at that point because there was no point in doing a monthly update on it. Um, not not getting the views at all to suggest that people are interested in monthly updates. So unfortunately, yeah, we've bypassed the six monthly point. We're now at month eight, um, which is good. Um, so we're going to talk today a little bit about system stability and what I've done to make sure I can keep the node as stable as possible because um, there have been a lot of interruptions. We'll have a look at the node itself uh, running on my um, other Windows PC. Uh, then we'll have a look at earnings so far, a little talk about that. And then we'll have a look at the cost spreadsheet to see how much this operation is still costing us. Okay, so um, going to system stability then, if we switch over to the, the node. And uh, what I want to talk about is Windows Update, because obviously I'm running on a Windows node. Um, and there are a lot of interferences from Microsoft and it's very difficult to stop those interferences taking your node down. Um, so the first thing, Windows Defender updates. Even though you had Windows Update either turned off or delayed, as I've got here, um, I've, I, I set it basically to the maximum date that you can suspend it for. Um, currently that's the 16th of May. Um, and then at that point, or just before that point, I will come in, do all the Windows Update, take the node down, properly using PowerShell, do all the updates and get the machine up and running again without there being um, an outage or interruption. Um, because obviously if Microsoft do something, it can sometimes take out your node and you don't know until you get an alert on your monitoring program, which I had almost a full day out last time. Don't want that to happen. Um, so I've been a bit proactive in making sure that I'm aware of when the next um, set of updates need to be done by and getting those done properly, you know, just by controlling the whole outage um, for as small a time as possible. Um, but there are exceptions to it, um, even though you might have updates paused and have, you know, uh, the advanced option set to remind you about updates later on, Microsoft will still do updates under the bonnet and ignore it. Um, those, some of those are the Windows Defender updates, which you'll see in the event log. Um, and if we go back about two or three months ago, um, those win Windows Defender updates would take the um, Windows service, the um, Store J Windows service out completely, knock it out completely, especially on my machine. Um, I don't know about yours, but they did. it does, does on mine. Um, and that was annoying because Windows Defender's updates were happening very frequently in the event log and taking the node out every time. And that was causing me all, all manner of problems. Um, that seems to have settled down now, and the Windows Defender's updates do not seem to be affecting the um, Windows service at all now. And I can only assume that is because there have been some automatic updates. I've noticed the version number going up. Um, so it looks like Store J have done some work, maybe. I don't know if it intentionally or unintentionally, but to stop Windows Defender having such an effect on it. Um, and that seems to be good now. Um, so we'll have a look at the node version I'm running in a moment. And uh, that's sorted that out. So Windows Defender doesn't seem to be a problem. The other problem I have is they also do Microsoft Edge updates um, just when they want to do them, even though you've turned off the updates. Um, and that has also taken out the node. That took it out for about 12 hours before I noticed and before I got the alert. Um, which was very annoying. Um, hopefully Windows Microsoft Edge updates are going to be few and far between and that won't affect it in future too much. Um, so that's what I've been doing to manage that side of things and get more stability. Um, it's all you can do on Windows unfortunately. Um, there doesn't seem to be any other way of suspending Windows Defender updates, for instance, you can try and turn it off in the security settings, but Microsoft will just turn it on again, um, ignore you. There are some local policy settings that you can play around with if you want to turn it off. Um, not that that's advisable, 
um, but I did try it to see if uh, if I could stop it um, but unfortunately as soon as you do the Windows updates it resets all those settings again and you're back, you're back to square one so um, that's it with regards updates let's have a, a quick look at the node before we go and look at some spreadsheets so um, here you can see last uh, last uptime 43 hours and that was because of a Windows update that took it out it wasn't a controlled update of mine um, and it looks like today there has been a new version update because I was on 126.2 I think um, yesterday or the day before um, and that was a version that was stable where Windows Defender updates were not taking the Windows service out it's moved up to one 11 1.127.1 now um, for May um, so hopefully there's some more stability fixes in that as well um, I haven't looked at the release notes yet I will have a look uh, later and catch up on what's in that version and what they've um, solved in it um, not a lot happening um, I noticed in the sort of community posts and that a lot of people complaining um, very similar to me finding that the the growth of disk space is not as not as what was promised um, we'll have a look at the spreadsheet afterwards and see what the where it is with regards to projection but I think a lot of people were thinking the growth of their nodes would be considerably quicker than they are I'm finding it creeping up and then dropping down with huge amounts of trash being dumped um, constantly there seems to be a lot of trash movement that takes it down um, and then it gets replaced but never growing up to where it was um, so I've been around this figure for quite a long time now in the just over four terabyte range um, doesn't seem to be moving a little bit of instability in the suspension and audit as you can see I had that outage where Microsoft Edge updates took me out and it's still trying to recover from that now um, the suspension and audit figures were under 100%. They've come back now, but we're just waiting for the online counts to move up, and they will as long as I keep the node up and running. Um, so far this month, $2.74. It's the 11th of May today, so not great growth there. Again, I think that's 25 cents a day, something like that. Um, and then you can see here that the total amount earned is $23 and a bit, and the total held is currently $19. Um, and I have had my first payout. Um, this 23.34 here um, was paid into my Store J MetaMask um, account. Um, that converted to around, I think it was at the time, just over £16 something. Um, so that is in there now. So I've had my first payment. So that's a good sign. Long may that continue. Um, and I've got that in my coin market account, account now so that I can see how store J is performing um, and decide whether to keep that or exchange it for something else at some point. Um, so that's pretty much it there. Um, we'll just go and have a quick look at the payout information. So esti they're estimating around just over $6 this month. We're already at around 274 gross total. Um, very small amounts on these particular um, satellites nothing on that one at all it's mainly US and EU for me as you can see that are giving me the money um, and then um, that's pretty much it for now um, on that part anyway so we'll close that down and just come out of the remote desktop session um, and before we move on to the spreadsheets, just a reminder, there are quite a few sort of um, videos on my channel of the journey currently so far. So starting off from, um, you know, how to migrate to a Windows node um, and then here's month one. Uh, then we did month two and month three. We're now doing month eight and I'll be up here later on. Um, and also the don't forget the Store J bite size series, which um, Hopefully we'll start to grow a little bit more. Um, but anything that I've found that is useful to a StoreJ node operator, I've put in those little bite-sized videos and um, giving you some tips and tricks for various bits and pieces. Okay, let's have a look at 
our spreadsheets now. Um, so starting off with the uh, monitoring spreadsheet. So um, if you remember from the previous videos, the estimates here were obtained by running a uh, script um, that we got from one of the um, blogs uh, where you put in details of your um, storage amount and your bandwidth speeds and it would calculate over the various months um, how your storage would grow and get utilized and what you could expect in terms of payments held amounts and the overall total so we're in month eight here now as you can see storage very steady growth hardly anything between april and may um but there you go but um you can see here we've pretty much been on target uh, a little bit down on the held there which is good um we're not worried about that but um we should be on target i think if we you know get that estimate about six dollars three should be pretty much on target for this month as well um what happens after that is anyone's guess um we need to see if the if the growth is going to match what it predicts here because if we look at may there's quite a large jump to june um as you can see quite a large amount of data which we've not we've not seen that growth yet so there's quite a big big step here um, I don't know what's going to help that um, but it'd be interesting to see if it stays on on target and that we get you know to that uh, almost five and a half terabytes there um, in June um, the only other thing I can tell you about is that um, obviously back in month five by the look of it we had equal amounts of paid and held um, and obviously we've gone over that threshold now so it's um, it's dropped now it's um, a lot less held more a lot less held than paid now um, so there's more going into the pot that will build up towards a payment so so that's good so you it looks like you can expect that to happen around month four or five by the look of it um, and then you'll see an increase in your takings which obviously got me to the point where I could get that first payment um, so that's our estimate and actual spreadsheet and we'll continue to fill that in um, and I'll have a look and see what uh, engagement is like on the on the uh, channel and if it grows considerably and I'm getting a lot more views then obviously I'll do more frequent updates to show you how we're keeping on track um, now here's the bad news um, and primarily because of the high electricity costs here in the UK um, I'm not sure what it is like in the rest of Europe I know United States is a lot cheaper for electricity um, but that's not helping matters here at all at the moment yeah so the max was just over 27 pence a day um, I was earning which means after electric costs um, I'm losing 19 pence or just over per day <coughs> which doesn't sound a lot <coughs> excuse me but um, until you look at the yearly figure that's kissing goodbye to 70 pounds um, so we really need to see growth of the node now so that um, those uh, daily figures of takings are going up um, and they need to increase quite considerably before we get to a break-even point but you know stay with me and keep looking at the videos and you know we might reach that break even point at some at some point so uh, we'll uh, see what happens but that's the bad news but um ever hopeful you know store j was never going to be a a quick win as such um you know right from the start i told you that um it's going to be a patient game <coughs> excuse me very dry throat a patience game um, and I wouldn't expect anything significant to happen until after a year so another four months down the road but um, I would imagine at 12 months I'd be at the point where I could make a decision as to whether it's suitable to continue with or whether I have to start looking at something else but anyway I hope you enjoyed that I hope that's been informative for you if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe and hit the bell notification icon 
so you're reminded when the next video comes up and give it a thumbs up if you can as well help the algorithm help the channel grow um, it seems to be dying quite considerably at the moment because I've steered away from a lot of the uh, sort of main crypto to topics like you know GPU mining and things like Casper and Chia um, may revisit some of those in the future I don't know it doesn't look like it's worth looking into at the moment and there's not a lot of new things coming on to the market for us to explore and and play about with but uh, you know stick with me and uh, we'll see what happens but for now I'll say goodbye